Oh boy, haven't done one of these in a while, have I? Vlogged? Look, there's a reason why and when I'll do it and usually it involves a backdrop like that. Hola, senor and senoritas. I am in Mexico. And it's pretty stunning. I am in Cabo San Lucas. And of course, the first thing that I did when I arrived was eat uh, Italian. So I have a giant blow to a dummy. If I really push it out, like, people are gonna start asking some questions here. I'm here for the Jumanji Junket, which means I'm interviewing The Rock again. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yes, I can smell what he's cooking. And it's delicious. Um, Jumanji 2 is gonna be pretty exciting. I'm watching the movie tonight. Tomorrow the interviews will happen. I am so excited to switch off, so of course I thought I'd work and bring you along with me. You're welcome. I actually have a fun story while we walk through this resort on the way to drinks. Thank you, Sony. Um, I haven't had a holiday in a while. I was supposed to go on a cruise with Alicia and that all fell through at the 11th hour because of work. Now I'm freelancing and I have for a while, so if there's work, you gotta take that money. And so that's what I did. Um, and because of that, I have been absolutely aching for a holiday and I just haven't really had one. I was only supposed to be here for two nights. Uh, I ex extended it to four. Hopefully that means I can relax. Um, even though I've already booked in an audition and a few Skype meetings, whatever. Look at this guy. He's on holiday mode. And that's the point of all of this. Holiday mode. He just had drinks in his hand. Um, anyway, I was at the airport this morning and I was getting breakfast at the, at the airport at 7 a.m. And the bartender goes, and a Bloody Mary? And I was like, bloody hell yeah, I'll get a Bloody Mary. Hi guys, say hello. Uh, Hi. Uh, so friendly. Um, yeah, I was like, bloody hell, I'll get a Bloody Mary. He made it so bloody strong. Um, I had the one drink and I was so drunk and I don't know if you caught it guys But I was like happy tweeting some cool things because I was in such a great mood because there was probably about eight lots of vodka in my Bloody Mary and uh, Yeah, got onto the flight and I realized I was quite drunk and um, Couldn't tell you what happened on the flight because I basically passed out did the old tray tape Did the old tray table down put your head down um, listened to two hours of the book that I don't remember so I'm gonna have to go back for that one with the magicians and I started getting a hangover so yeah I've had a headache all day and it won't quit and I didn't even feel like I earned it one bloody Mary back her off anyway it's time to drink that's always the cure for a hangover just keep drinking she's Australian get out good morning lovelies it's interview day today just got glammed got the glam jam going um, I don't know whether to put on red lipstick or pink lipstick, so oh nude lips feels weird. So I did you nails too. What am I growing up? <laughs> anyway, check out this view. <laughs> oh, it's just as beautiful as I was yesterday. Um, oh you can't see me when I do that. So um, so I spent this morning prepping my questions. I saw the movie last night. Guys, it's good. It's so fun and funny. And I'll tell you, excuse me please, truck, I am trying to vlog. I'll tell you why I love it. Not only is it you're inside a video game, so you have like lives and you have strengths and weaknesses, but because of that aspect, why can't I frame properly? But because of that aspect, it actually really reminds me of building the Fungents and Flagons campaigns. You make your character up, you really get an idea of who they are, and then you explore their strengths and weaknesses, and especially with um, Kevin Hart's weakness of cake. Like when that happens, I was just like, oh my God, that's so fungents and flagons because if someone's weakness was cake, you bet your butt it's a birthday every day. So I kind of love that world building, character development. It really is like a nerdy kind of movie, but super mainstream as well. And I think the fact that it did so well last year means that everyone's inner geek is just, you know, allowed to flourish a little bit more. And that's what Geek Bomb is literally about. So that's what I love about it. Um, I have nine minutes with The Rock and Kevin Hart. They're teamed up. And I also have like 11 minutes with Jack Black, Karen Gillan, and Aquafina, which I think is going to be so much fun. So I've done a lot of prep with my questions. I kind of really want to geek out with these guys. I think that's what's going to be fun. And there's a lot of um, switching bodies and being someone else. So I'm going to play a few games with them to see if they can do that too. Hopefully these interviews go well. I've been having a lot lately and I'm loving it. I really, really love interviewing. And I've been receiving a lot of positive feedback for my interviews lately. And guys, oh man, that's so lovely. Considering my first junket was back in 2007, how was that possible? I, I don't know, hey, 
um, it's, it's just nice to know that you know, the more you do something, the more practice you have it, the better you are at it. I've almost done, I feel like my 10,000 hours on it. So it's just, it means a lot to me that I'm good at my job. Because that's what you want. I don't want fame. I just want to be really good at my job and have success because I am good at it. Um, and that kind of builds the passion for it, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, interviews today, and then I'm done. And I've extended the trip two nights. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go ATVing, which is gonna be great. I'll introduce you to Kim Crossman, who is Australia, um, who's Kiwi Maud. She's so cool. We're like building the family, because Alison Hayslip is American Maud. So it's like, there's a lot of Mauds and we're taking over and it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, um, I will show you what it's gonna be like on set with Jumanji, the next level. I wonder if it's time to ask you guys if you could level up, what would it look like? What would your strengths and weaknesses be? Because that's what I'm asking the cast. I'll, I, okay, I'll go first. Um, my strengths would be... Shouldn't be this hard. Um, jump rope. Didn't see that coming, did ya? Um, it would probably be... Maybe like charisma, like talking my way out of situations. No, actually I shut down when that's happening. I just look for someone else to save me, I guess. Okay, cool. This is actually way more thought provoking than I wanted it to be. My strengths, if I was dropped into a Jumanji-esque situation, I think I have leadership qualities. So I would make sure that we all decide on something that we can agree on maybe that means a vote and we enact on it i'm i'm gonna shut down bickering i'm gonna make sure that there's positivity and morale i've had too many coffees and my tummy's just going a little my heart's going a bit fast why can't i just put the camera on me how hard is that weaknesses can't frame a shot last night i got slapped across the face by a cricket I didn't handle that incredibly well, but then I, you know, took my shoe off and went to shoe sh it on. Shoe, 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 <laughs> pun. Um, but yeah, no, everyone saw me shriek. And some people were even like, I didn't even know you were capable of making that noise. I thought that you would have handled that a lot better than you did. And I was like, that's called a backhanded compliment. <laughs> ah, but you're Australian. Everything tries to kill you. Yeah, well, I'm still alive, you know. And if a cricket's gonna be like me, I'm more startled and unexpected from that. And there's a gecko in my room last night. I'm in the bathroom, but I'm like, oh, geckos. That's like Brizzy's staple. <laughs> Not even bothered. the red carpet's gonna be guys but I thought I'd take you around because if you are Australian you'll realize this is pretty bloody cool this is my mate here he's having a screaming good time <laughs> god shut up um, this is where the red carpet's gonna be we are in Cabo um, I've just done the junkets with all the I'm doing it again where I can't frame I uh, just had an interview with the cast it was fantastic Rock and Kevin just were gloves off having the funniest conversation ripping into each other hard it was really really cool great interviews got selfies having the best time but i want to show you this this is something that i don't think i would like <laughs> i know i'm australian and snakes are everywhere but i remember watching anaconda um when i was about 11 years old my brother had friends over and i wanted to watch it i had nightmares for months after that, Catwoman would be riding an anaconda through the city and um, we'd all be gathered there and it, it had cornered all the people of the town. And uh, Catwoman was basically like, with her whip, whoosh, my snake needs to eat. And some we had to choose a member of the town to be eaten so that she would go away. And all the town members pushed me forward. <laughs> Such a traumatic dream for an 11 year old and I still remember it now. But this badass uh, anaconda is Starting there. It just keeps going. It's a big mofo. I don't like it. Like, honestly, when you when you look at it here, like I could easily be laying in that. Like that like with room to spare.
these uh, monkeys that are they were mentioned twice in my interviews as the animal that you would not want to cross in Jumanji um, they look like baboons but they are not they are called what are they called? mandrel monkeys mandrel monkeys oh good I have a relationship why? <laughs> oh we, we oh, you've been putting this together? Yes. Well, you have to shine your halo because you were my angel just then. <laughs> have fun. Another f***ing snake. Anything that looks realistic, I get afraid of because I'm waiting for it to come to life. What a metonophobia. It's not fun, guys. It's not fun. Anyway, that was the bridge. Now we're going the red carpet. Anyway, that's where they're going to be walking and all the press is going to be. <laughs> There's a camel! Okay, that doesn't look too realistic, so I feel like I can stand here safely and it won't move. Hi, buddy! I'd like to ride a camel, I think. Maybe on hump day. <laughs> Someone laughed. Someone laughed. I'm on a horse. As a horse. While we're monkeying around. Show them the alligator? Oh, I haven't seen the alligator. There's an alligator. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a fat alligator. A fatigator. <laughs> All right, here I am with one of the deadliest creatures in the whole world. It's called a gator because when you see the gator, there's not going to be a later. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be dead. Come estas? Sunset in Cabo. I mean, I've had a couple of these. <laughs> mm. I want to show you my view. Um, interviews are done. They were spectacular. I think I already said that on the other one. Oh, someone's wearing a bit too much aftershave. You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Feet. I'm sick of being on wiki feet. This is my view. This is my view right now. Shut up, right? Shut the front door. Shut your face. Shut it. Stop it, toes. Isn't this just perfect? So for anyone wondering what my happy place is, this is my happy place. I have a book that I'm going to possibly be reading, but I listen to a lot of books, so that's going to be difficult. This is one that mum recommended me. Um, it's basically a part-time private investigator and a full-time grim reaper. Quite literally, she sees dead people. So this is my kind of jam. It's a, um, contemporary, a contemporary fantasy book. <sighs> Are you kidding me right now? Oh, Tipsy Maud's just out in full force, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be me for the next few days. I ain't even mad about it. And no, oh, the shame! Oh, that was not a shame! They're changing my name! Not what's in a name! And I got downhearted! How did you feel? Every time that I Come started! On. Not from the kids! Oh, sorry. Hakuna Matata! What a wonderful phrase! And this is when we all had a really sexual questioning and awakening. <laughs> when, <laughs> when lion, you know, cubs turn into lion men, and you're like, ooh, does it mean no worries? Or have I got a whole new set of worries? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hola, ¿cómo estás? I'm already at the airport. I know, I was supposed to go ATVing, I was supposed to do all these fun activities, I was supposed to not be hungover all of yesterday, but shit happens and I'm a Nazi. Alex here has been wonderful. I did all the ATVing. You did it all. probably was the reason that there was lots of alcohol consumed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a wonderful trip. There was a lot of R&R um, &R and relaxation and lying by the pool and cocktails. But um, there were a couple of birthdays uh, on this trip. So we definitely enjoyed the birthday. Uh, but it's kind of sad that it's all wrapping up and it's over. I had amazing interviews with the two. The movie was fantastic. Really, really liked it. Got good stuff. Got good stuff. Also, I have a really, really sore neck because apparently when I get super drunk, I just throw my neck around with those moves. Hola. Hola, just a local here. Hola. 
Oil of Ola. Ola. <laughs> Adios.